This is Jenna Burt, host of the Confessions of a Military Spouse podcast here on Public House Media. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you're done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out my show, Confessions of a Military Spouse, where we dig deep and talk about the unspoken hard truths of what it's really like to be a military spouse. A new show comes out bi-weekly. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you never miss an episode of Confessions of a Military Spouse. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Throughout history, the course of sports has been shaped by one thing, the fans. From the moments you never dreamed of... the moments that still give you nightmares. Behind the bag, it gets through Buckner. Here comes Knight and the Mets win it. He's in. Patriots win the Super Bowl. Brady has his fifth. Through the good and the bad, fans have helped change the games we watch and the players we love. They may not be the most logical people. You are a factory of sadness. I'll see you Sunday. But they know their teams better than anybody. They'll blow in the ninth. You may not always see them, but you know where to find them. After all, there's nothing quite like the view from the cheap seats. Broadcasting as part of the Public House Media Network. Grab a chair and enjoy all there is in the the cheap cheap seats. seats. And welcome to the Friday edition of the cheap seats. Matt Coyne alongside... Jonathan and Christian, so you're. Th- this is a little different. Uh, you're used to hearing Jake with me, but uh, the new format, uh, we're switching this up. We hope you all enjoy it a little bit more. Christian, Jonathan, how are you guys doing today? Excited. It's uh, it's Friday, so yeah. what's, what's to be bad? <laughs> exactly, yeah. That's, that's how, Jonathan, how are you doing? I'm great. Uh, I feel like my mom's talking to me. Nobody calls me Jonathan. This is so normal. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'll, th- this is this is our fir- one of our first shows together. So now it's we'll true. change it to John. We'll change it to John. Yeah, you know and- what? No, I I kind of like the formal because it, it's about to get out of control here. So better to start it formal. <laughs> well, yes, I, <laughs> I, I gotta raid well, you in. You know what? You guys are on the Monday show uh, c- coming over here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just pretty much just uh, be the middleman for you all because uh, I know how you two like to get heated. So maybe I can try to control <laughs> some. Um, we're not in the same room, so unfortunately. That might be a little difficult, but before luck, we get Matt. good luck. <laughs> before we get into this, though, we do want to remind you that we are presented by Squadcast.fm here on the Public House Media Network. Uh, you can listen to us on iTunes, Google Podcast, um, Spotify, anywhere uh, you can get your uh, podcast. For the most part, learn more about us on PublicHouseMedia.org. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And as always, uh, on the days of our shows, we have the daily pool questions on our Cheap Seats Facebook page. Uh, the shows do come out now. Um, for those of you who have been uh, longtime listeners, we obviously appreciate you and we thank you for that. But we are switching it up with shows now on Tuesdays and Fridays. And the great thing about this is you're going to get a mix of all the hosts uh, on, either, on, every, on each show. So it will be fun to... Uh, kind of see where we go with that so enough of that let's get into this guys uh we're going to be talking about the all-star formats in the big four with nba nhl mlb and uh nfl as well obviously we just had the big nhl uh, all-star weekend a couple weeks Mm -hmm. ago we got the nba uh coming up uh this weekend uh so guys um it's a big hot you know big question a big topic of is All Star Game worth it? You know the big thing in the MLB is the winner. Uh, if AL wins it, NL wins it. They get home field advantage in uh, the World Series. And there's a lot of uh, it's either you love it or you hate it kind of thing. So uh, Christian, let's start with you. Uh, first of all, and let's start with you with the NBA and NHL mm-hmm. format. Just for those of you who aren't interested or who aren't familiar, tell us about what the NBA and NHL format set up as. 
Yeah, so I mean, the NBA has now changed it to something that, that I think is beneficial to the NBA. They got away from, you know, just the regular East versus West, and, you know, mm-hmm. still nobody plays defense, which is fine. Nobody <laughs> wants to get hurt because it's the, nobody plays defense anyway, so why should that change in the All-Star game? Um, but it, it changes now where it's kind of a schoolyard draft. The two guys who get the best votes from the fans' uh, standpoint, they get to then uh, basically have a, a pick them for the other guys that qualify. Um, and then we all get to analyze these things. Uh, John and I do it every now and again, but uh, we get to analyze, oh, LeBron James picked Kevin Durant uh, as his overall number one. Does that mean Kevin's coming to L.A.? We get to do all that <laughs> stupid crap, uh, which is unnecessary. But I think the NBA format uh, from an all-star game standpoint has has changed for the better. I definitely enjoy it with this uh, this schoolyard type pick em. Um, obviously all the things that go around the all-star game, we'll get into in a little bit, like, uh, the celebrity game, the rising stars, the skills challenges and all that stuff. Um, but I'm going to tell you, you know, Matt, I don't watch a lot of hockey, but I, I, for the last couple of years, I have always tuned in, uh, now for the, um, NHL all-star game, because I love the tournament style that they do with the four divisions, the mm-hmm. three on three. This is so cool to me and so much fun uh, to be able to watch this in a smaller setting. So I absolutely love the NHL uh, all-star game format, not to mention that I think their skills competition is so insane to watch these guys and do what they can do. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to watch over the years. So I love the way they do it. And again, the way they changed both of these leagues, the NHL and the NBA have done a tremendous job of adjusting their all-star format to, to really kind of continue to intrigue fans because I think we've all kind of gotten over the idea of an all-star game. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you. The NHL is uh, by far my favorite. I, I sit down and watch it every year. I uh, just enjoy watching uh, this. You know, this year was a lot of fun to watch. I mean, the first game was kind of a dud, but um, the <laughs> other games were pretty uh, were fun to watch. But uh, so, Jonathan, tell us a little bit about the MLB and uh, NFL format for again for those of you of those who aren't familiar. Well, the MLB format is trash, and the <laughs> Pro Bowl is All right, worse. we're done. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So the MLB uh, plays NL versus AL, which, mm-hmm. I mean, that part of it's fine, whatever. Um, but the winner gets home field in the World Series, which is just so unbelievably dumb. I mean, it's it's really no surprise that Bud Seeley came up with that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, just, it's just so... Ugh. No. If I remember right, that came after the tie, didn't it? Yeah, it okay. did. Came after the tie. <sighs> um, yeah, it did. But uh, they, they they did, fortunately, um, you know, and, and I'm, I'm just going to pause here. They did change it in, in 2017. That's right. Their Wikipedia page has an update for whatever reason. But now what it is is it's a monetary bonus. Shit. Is what it is here. I'm going to put in I'm going to put in the um, what it actually is. You know is. what? I, I, but that's fine. Let's just. I will start over, and I will still crap on it, but then give them credit for getting rid of it. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm trying so to remember I'll... what the monetary value of it is, but I know, like, you get bonus. It's a now a, a bonus what? for the and winning as, team. as I was saying it, I'm like, I think they actually made the right decision and got rid of it. Yeah, this, they so did change I... it. 30 to – wait, hang on. That was back on the tie. So, <laughs> never mind. Anyway. That's fine. Go ahead. All right. So I'll, so I'll just start from my spiel. Okay. Uh, all right. In 3-2. Well, gentlemen, the MLB uh, format uh, is not great, and the Pro Bowl is worse. So uh, Major League Baseball um, is obviously American League versus National League. No real shocker there. Uh, After that unbelievably stupid tie that they had, I don't remember what year that was. um, 2002. No, there's there's baseball boy. 2002. (laughs) Um, And then Mr. Bud decided, you know, let's make this more dumb. And we're going to give home field advantage in the World Series to the team that wins a game that doesn't matter. Because, you know, perfectly logical. Um, Now, thankfully, um, after 2017, God, it took 15 years to figure this out. They decided this was a terrible idea. Now they give monetary bonuses, which, you know, that's fine. I like that a whole lot better. Um, I actually have the least problem with the baseball one, which might come as a stunner. Anybody that's listened to (laughs) Christian knows my hatred of baseball. But they actually have the best one out of the four. Uh, the worst would be the Pro Bowl. Um, you know, it's so bad that now we've got to have, you know, like cornerbacks playing wide receiver. And, you know, next we're going to have John Gruden come out and play quarterback. I mean, it is so boring. It is so bad. And yet it still gets higher ratings than everything else on television, which just tells you 
that television in 2019 is just a heaping pile of garbage <laughs> because the Pro Bowl can get higher TV ratings than pretty much anything else that's on. Um, but the Pro Bowl is AFC versus NFC, but tons of guys don't play because they know it's dumb. And if they're hurt or they're in the Super Bowl, they just don't. It used to be in Hawaii. At least that was cool. Now it's in Orlando, which is like the worst place ever <laughs> other than Disney World. Um, so, yeah, uh, as you can tell, I really am not a fan of All-Star Games. Well, and one of, one of the things, I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I actually thought moving it before the Super Bowl, and I know why they did it, because after the Super Bowl, everyone's like, we're done. So they tried to do that in between week uh, to fi to fill that void. But my thing is, I'm like, well, the Super Bowl teams aren't going to it. So some of the best players from the two best teams in the in the league are not playing in it. So I, 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 I that's one of my biggest beefs about it is, you know, you never get to see those Super Bowl teams. So Tom Brady, yeah, but, you but haven't to seen be honest, for eight years. But, but to be honest, Matt, I mean, in, in any of these, you know, uh, all-star games, it's rare. Like outside the NHL, honestly, which has a, which needs some of these stars to really play because mm -hmm. that's what draws people in the, the fringe fans. And the NBA, where realistically you're not playing defense, so you're not actually going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, baseball, you can see that all the time. The the best guys, like the guys you want to see doing these things, don't do it anyway. So it doesn't That's really true. matter. Yeah. I mean, I, I liked that when they moved it to that in-between week because, like you said, I mean, I don't think it's because after the Super Bowl we stopped caring. We just had this alliance of American football thing that had great ratings on opening weekend the week after the Super Bowl somehow. Um, so... But I think putting it there just keeps it within the NFL season. That's kind of the mm -hmm. important part. But again, what what it is for me is is it, it doesn't matter. I know these people aren't going to play. Like I know that, you know, the best dunkers aren't going to be in the slam dunk contest. I know the best home run hitters aren't going to be in the home run hitting home run derby. So it it really is kind of a a, a non factor for me. Sam, yeah, the, I mean, the, 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 it, that's absolutely. A, yeah, that's a good point. And well, I mean, even for me, I mean, you guys know, I mean, you saw. We know AB's pretty much gone this year from the Steelers, and <laughs> the Steelers saw Moslaja Juju as well in that game. So I'm like, are you kidding me over a game that means nothing? So you are right. Yeah, that, that is a good point. But a lot of people, I mean, you see the stands, uh, they're not even close to being uh, no. filled in the Pro Bowl. Uh, but so, guys, out of these four, you, you've, uh, Christian, your favorite's the NHL. Yep. Uh, Jonathan, you said your favorite's the MLB. Uh, Christian, you didn't really, I don't think, said your least favorite. We we definitely know what what John is. <laughs> oh, God, I can go all night. <laughs> it, yeah, but, it's, it's, it's the Pro Bowl. It, it is it's the, the Pro, Pro Bowl. I'm sorry. The Pro Bowl means nothing. The Pro Bowl is a, a joke. I mean, I, I understand. With the NBA, it doesn't bother me because there's no defense that's played anyway. And mm -hmm. it it is kind of neat to watch, you know, these. I, I love the draft format. I think that's why it's. Yeah not the least my least favorite because I love the draft format and I love the things they do around when we talk all-star format I think of the whole weekend mm -hmm. and I do like the dunk competition I do like the rising stars I love the celebrity game it's kind of fun with major league baseball I still love the home run derby I still watch it every year mm -hmm. but my favorite part about all-star week for major league baseball is the celebrity softball game that is my like kid you not my favorite thing I used to stay up and watch Gary Thorne do the broadcast on ESPN 2 at like you know one o'clock in the morning because that's when it was on I love the celebrity softball game I don't know why I would love to see you know the Pro Bowl do some sort of like celebrity flag football game like I know they used direct TV used to do something like that yeah I was gonna say I thought they did with like a beach bowl or something mm -hmm. but I would love to see that kind of stuff and I love the draft I, I love the fun little schoolyard draft thing I, I think if every team or if every league did that it might be more fun because then it's kind of like it's like fantasy football for us. It's getting to see Peyton Manning mm -hmm. throw to Antonio Brown or, you know, to see J.J. Watt tackle Deshaun Watson. Like, that's the kind of fun stuff we want to see. Yeah, and that – well, what was it? They tried it for two years, I believe. They did, like, the Dion yeah. versus Jerry Rice. And I'll be honest, like, I watched him that year, and I, I don't know why they just tried it for – however long two years and then they went back to afc versus nfc i mean no one it's still the NFL watched could have its own way that's why. yeah that's true. so <laughs> well no actually that's a lie they they people did watch like you guys said it's one of the most watched things <laughs> of the year so uh so any so leading up to the games we have the all you know we have all the skills challenges uh jonathan what's your favorite out of the four uh this what's your favorite single event of all the skills challenges 
Well, look, first of all, uh, admitting that you like the celebrity softball game, I think, is like step one of that 10-step program that people have to take. Um, good Lord. I mean, you know. Oh, my God. I was uh, at anyway. 2013 one at City Field when Kevin James was named the MVP. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> wow. Okay. I remember that one. <laughs> wow. Nothing Kevin James has ever done has really been awesome. But, um, uh, but you know, I'm fat like him, so respect. Um, but anyway, uh, you know what? Um, I don't really think any of the skills competitions are particularly great. Um, if I had to, if I had to pick one, it would be the dunk contest, but like not for ten years. So, um, because the bottom line is this: if you're not going to get LeBron James in the dunk contest, mm-hmm. or, um, well, you did have Aaron Judge in the home run derby. Uh, baseball, I feel like, is the best with with the big events. They do tend to get the guys you want to see. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know anything that happens in hockey. I won't even try to pretend. Um, and look, the the NFL's the skills are stupid. I mean, they're like played like a frisbee game, and like Aaron Luck hit somebody in the face or something. I mean, stop it, seriously. Like, it's just it's so dumb. And I, <sighs> there's not much you can do though with those. Like, that's the thing with major Dude, league. Just baseball, don't do it then. Just don't do it. Why are we doing it? What is the I, point? I don't disagree with you. And, and, and like, that's the thing. Like with the NFL, like nobody wants, like we watch the, com- people watch the combine. That's your skills competition. Yes. The combine is way better than the skills. Yeah. Competition. 100%. <laughs> I, yeah. And that, that's kind of it. Like, and in baseball, like I, I'll, I'll be honest, like when I, when I worked in, in summer wood bat leagues, one of the team, we hosted it at the all-star game and we had our skills competition, which was like 40 yard dashes, pop time for catchers to see if they could throw out a guy running, you know, stealing second. Like, Honestly, even for me, it was boring. Like it was not like that. So I don't want to see that at, at an All Star game for Major League Baseball. That's why I love the Home Run Derby, the Futures game, and the softball game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I one I heard this idea earlier this year when they were uh, I forget who who wrote the article, but they were talking about the uh, NFL, you know, the Pro Bowl, and saying they should do what the NHL does. I thought it was stupid, but after a while, I'm like, yeah, that might be interesting of doing like just a flag football game, but having, like, five people teams. Because people, for me, guys, I don't know if you agree with this, but I like to see them being people during the – like, I love seeing, you know, them having their families there, and I like seeing that side of them. I really do. I mean, maybe that's just because I'm, I'm a nerd. But um, <laughs> I, I do enjoy that part of it, and I think that's the thing about the Pro Bowl. I feel like they don't really – televise any of this stuff they do i know they but you know they don't make a big deal out of it and then the game like you said jonathan you see uh who who was the uh you had saquon barkley as a de- uh, as a defensive end and alan kamara as a defense or alvin kamara like, as a defensive like, end uh, come on yeah like but i think it'd <laughs> be more fun if they <laughs> just played just to have fun like a backyard game i don't know but yeah, I think we we're all in agreement, us three. That the so then you know what? If you want to do that, have them switch for the entire game. Have the defense, have the offensive guys play defense the whole game, and have the defensive guys play offense the whole game. Let Aaron Donald play quarterback. I would like. Oh to my that. god! <laughs> you imagine trying to take him down? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, let um, you know, I, I I don't know, let Rob Gronkowski be running back or something. I I don't know, but uh, I, I I just find these skills competitions in these all-star games for the most part to be incredibly contrived and Mm -hmm. now look i'm also saying all this without really having a way to fix it so you know i'm kind of just being a jackass but (laughs) um you know it's also not my job to fix it so right i'm not really sure what you do to fix it honestly in the nfl i think you just get rid of it all together and just forget about it you've tried it it's not working um major league baseball the nba and the nhl all have pieces that are good and then they have stuff that's just terrible. So I, I feel like there's at least things there that you can work with. But for the NFL, I think just forget about it. I think the other part, though, John, that makes the NHL, NBA, and Major League Baseball All-Star games better and maybe more relevant to us is that it legitimately is a break in the season. That's and it's one too. of those like that the players actually enjoy. So they mm-hmm. get a kind of like a little bit of a respite. We kind of sit there and go, all right, cool. It's kind of in the middle of the season. We're, we're still kind of Jones in for it because it's in the middle of that year. I'm not saying you do this in, in, in the NFL, and I don't know if it would work. But if we had one week, like maybe instead of week eight, it's the Pro Bowl instead. Like, and then it's fun. It's like a flag football game, Matt, like you mentioned. Like I think seven on seven flag football could be really fun. Yeah. Like, that and that would get rid of, of the – the unneeded bye weeks all throughout the year too. 
Um, right. It, it would. You're right. It would get rid of the bye weeks in general. So we just have everybody playing every single week. You get rid of that bye week. You have week eight and then all that stuff. And, and that's what it is. It, instead of a 17 week schedule, it's a 16 week schedule with a bye week. That's the Pro Bowl. I mean, I, I like that in theory. The only thing I'd, uh, that I think would happen is even if it was just flag football, teams wouldn't let their players do it because it's in the middle of the year. Yeah, yeah that's that could be. Well, guys, I can uh, see. Well, you're a li- little. Uh, it's interesting being with you two. I will say that it's been fun. Though. <laughs> but uh, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about this, get you the poll question uh, for this Friday's episode. Stay with us with Jonathan, Christian, and Matt here in the Chiefs. Let me take a This is Jenna Burt, host of the How's it going, everybody? This is Keith. And Katie, host of What are we doing for poll question again? Oh, conference versus conference. Public House Media. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Yeah, when you're that, done that's here, a good I hope you'll check out our show, Talk to Keith and Katie. Where we talk about I think John and relationships oh, yeah, over sure. a cup of coffee. Stop it. A new episode so airs on Facebook Live every Monday and Thursday at 7 30 p.m. Don't forget to stuff. She's going to be bad. But I actually think that it should be the person that got Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast. I like that twist yeah. you know like do we really want to uh, like this enough of LeBron. I'm, I'm tired of LeBron. let's have soccer pass let's have here on kyle lowry media yeah right After exactly let's have episode, kyle lowry join us on you know lowry around Benson the soccer Spruit. world Mike, as we Jordan discuss the club and That's country bad. every <laughs> tuesday oh my god stamp so your soccer pass hey, well, by subscribing actual... on spotify yeah, who, yeah, iTunes, yeah, or wherever you get your public house media podcast like why are you thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on public house media who played like a game the whole year? Yeah. Every time Dirk gets in, it looks like both of us. How's it going, everybody? This is Keith. And Katie, host of Coffee with Keith and Katie here on Public House Media. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. When you're done here, I hope you'll check out our show, Coffee with Keith and Katie. Where we talk about our lives and relationship over a cup of coffee. A new episode airs on Facebook Live every Monday and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you'll never miss an episode of Coffee with Keith and Katie. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. This is Bryce Burge, host of Your Soccer Passport here on Public House Media. After this episode, come join us on a trip around the soccer world as we discuss club and country every Tuesday. Stamp Your Soccer Passport by subscribing on Spotify, iTunes, or wherever you get your Public House Media podcasts. And thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Welcome back to the Cheap Seats. Matt Coyne alongside Jonathan Louder and Christian Heimel. Guys, that, that was that was fun. It was uh I now that I feel like I understand no, I still don't understand you guys. I, mean, <laughs> I can't I can't lie. Nobody nobody understands. There's, there's, <laughs> like, yeah, there's a lot of history it. between us. There's no <laughs> understanding it. I mean, you know. We would uh, need a lot more time and, and, and no offense, we would probably need a therapist as a host. Yes, to get, yeah, to get that's, all that's that. Fine. And honestly, they're very much overpaid, so we really don't want to <laughs> put that in the budget. Well, yeah, you, you know what? I'll I'll, tr- I'll try my best here and uh so we we uh decided that after this conversation, this week's poll question is going to be, would you rather, uh, do you think that, what's a better format, conference versus conference, or pick them? Uh, Jonathan, we'll start with you. What do you think is better, conference versus conference, or pick them? Now, Christian and I don't agree all that often, but this <laughs> one is a slam dunk. Uh, the the pick them is, is so much better. Uh, even though, like, I'm tired of hearing from LeBron James, uh, it's it's still nice to have them be able to go back and forth pick teams because again, like Christian said earlier in the show, you can kind of speculate. You know, why did he pick Durant? Why did he pick Kyrie? Stuff like that. 
But what I would do is I would mix it up, and I would have the lowest vote mm. getter pick. So as Christian uh, told me in the break, because honestly I didn't know who it was, uh, it would be Bradley Beal and Devin Booker. Um, <laughs> or if you want to get really crazy, let's just have Michael Jordan pick everybody. Yeah. So, like, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost like the gym teacher picking teams. You just put the 24 or however many guys it is, and they should do it live before the game. Oh, yeah. So they're standing in a line, and Ooh. George is just like, LeBron, you're over here. Kyrie, you're over there. That would be incredible. Or, oh, I'm just flowing with Man, he's, he's ready. Oof. Or, now, who's the other person that picked LeBron, and who was the other one? Giannis. Paul, let them play one-on-one, and the winner picks first. Mm. See, I love this. See, this is what I love about Pick'em, is you can do it in so many different ways. But see, John, I, I 100% agree with you. I want it to be right then and there in the arena. Yeah. As it's about to happen, so like better. here's what you do: you literally you get like imagine like, the conspiracy theories. <laughs> oh my god, it'd be amazing! You get like, but what you do is and, and do it. See, here's I want to do it for every single one. Like I do, want like, envelopes like the Oscars. You could freeze them or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> man, you could do it like the voice. You could steal a uh, steal. Yes. Like, oh, you could have people turn around in chairs. Oh, this is <laughs> this is turning into a reality TV show. Is what's you happening. Like, what? Might as well be. It'd be more interesting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, imagine this. Like, like, so say you get, like, LeBron, he's blindfolded, and, like, you're reading off the dude's stats, and that's it. He gets to decide, do you want him or no? Like, it's Price is Right. Like, 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 do you want this, or do you want to pass it on to the next person? There's a dartboard with two faces. He throws <laughs> the dart. Whichever one he gets closer to, that's the one he gets. I love it. But see, that's that's the point. Like, I want pick. Don't get me wrong. Like, Matt, like I said, I love the NHL All-Star mm-hmm. format because the three-on-three – I think is really fun, but how great would it be? Like if once it, and, and it's rare that we get to see this, but like, and, and, and forgive me for, for being an idiot, but like, I would love to see like Madison Bumgarner pitching to Buster Posey. I, I would love to see, um, you know, Mike Trout playing in the same outfield as Bryce Harper without yep. it actually happening for the New York Yankees. Cause I'm going to lose my freaking mind if that actually happens, <laughs> you know, and, and doing all of that, like that's the kind of stuff that I would love to see in, in major league baseball. And then when you look at it, like how much fun would it be to watch? I don't know, watch um, Steven Stamkos team up with Sidney Crosby yep. in the same, on the same team. How fun would that be? This would be great to watch or watch guys like, um, you know, Mark Andre Fleury have to stop his own teammates, or Pekka Rene having to stop, um, you know, guys like uh, Subban. Like, like this would be h- amazing to watch, and that's why I think Pickham is easily far and away the better. If there's no home field advantage attached to it, there's no need to do anything other yeah. than a Pickham, and to do it live and to do it right then and there as it's happening. Oh, it would be amazing. It would be great. Well, that's it's funny because. I'm right there. I mean, we're, we all three agree because I, it, it, my favorite All Star format currently is NHL, which is conference versus conference. So I sound like a hypocrite when I say, but my favorite is Pick'em. The reason I think NHL is so great is because th- they change it up. The tournament format of it, I think, is what what gets a lot of people. Me especially, I love that that you're watching something happen. You know, it's not just a game and that's it. But the pick them. I mean, even when the you know they did that for the NFL when it was, I, I believe it was Jerry Rice, Deion Sanders, and yeah. they had the draft. They had the draft on TV. Like that was a lot of fun to watch. And so I, I think, like you guys said, there's a lot you could do with it uh, to have that pick him, and it doesn't mean anything. So who cares? Oh, right. I just had another amazing. <laughs> oh so, no! All right. So what you do is you give fans the chance to vote on two. Um, members of the media in that specific sport that they would like to be captains. So like oh, God. You know, Charles Barkley and Shaq or Tony Romo and Troy Aikman or whatever. But then, okay, they don't pick for their sport. So like Charles Barkley <laughs> and Shaq have to pick for the NHL, okay? And like Don Cherry and Barry Melrose have to pick for Major League <laughs> Baseball. Oh, my God. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Well, Why well, have I not been high? To be fair, Jonathan, that um, Charles Barkley was in the booth the year that the uh, Penguins and Nashville Predators played each other, and to this day, I st- he sounded like a complete moron. I'm like, what is he's the? Bas- he's basically Mario Lemieux. Look, Snoop Dogg was just on a Kings broadcast, so you know we could go all day with this. I yeah. mean, you know what? I think Snoop Dogg should pick all the teams. All the- <laughs> Done. Forget all right, it. I- I've changed my mind. <laughs> Well, there, there we have it. It's 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 settled. Snoop Dogg's going to take care of everything. So, there it is. 
Uh, guys, we're waste the 35 minutes. We could have just said Snoop Dogg and finished the show. <laughs> oh my God. Well, guys, before we head out, I always like to ask uh, any closing th- any closing thoughts from either of you for the before we go into the weekend. I'm um, I'm just amazed that that John actually knew who Dodd Cherry was. I think that's <laughs> the best part of the whole show. Uh, you know that, what? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I know it's hockey, but the man wears incredible suits. He does. Fair enough. Fair yeah, enough. He does. Well, hey guys, thanks for uh, for being. Wait, on hey, with... you didn't let me say what I learned. <laughs> I thought that's what your closing thoughts was. Oh my gosh, I'm so I sorry. Didn't, I already knew who Don Cherry was, Matt. I didn't learn. <laughs> I already knew. All right. You no, know, I learned that sometimes Christian likes to stay up late by himself alone and watch the celebrity softball game. Only uh, to the sounds of Gary Thorne, though. <laughs> just, just, just sticking a spoon into a big tub of ice cream. You big weirdo. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. No, there's no. I love ice cream. <laughs> I actually but, love Gary Thorne too. So, well, guys, it's been fun. Uh, it's uh, being part of the show uh, makes it uh, just. Man, s- I'm so sorry. So much, <laughs> such a deep, deeper level. You guys were talking about a therapist for you. Um, maybe it's my turn, but anyways, <laughs> listen to us. You need one. <laughs> well, thanks uh, for you all for listening today. Uh, as always, don't forget we are presented by Squad ha- Squadcast.fm here on the Public Health Media Network. Find us on iTunes, Google Podcasts, uh, anywhere you find your uh, podcast. And don't forget to jump on the Cheap Seats Facebook page uh, for today's uh, poll question. And we'll see you back here on Tuesday here up in the Cheap Seats. Have a great weekend. Signing out for this week. Roll Pride. <laughs>